Welcome back in BGSU hockey sitting at number eight in the country. This weekend series at Minnesota State has been circled on the calendar for a while. The Mavs have been the class of the WCHA and they are sitting at sixth in America. A huge weekend for the Falcons. This series likely will determine a league champion this year. No score in this one second period, but Minnesota State on the power play. Bring it up, get the pass over for a one timer. It would get past Eric Dopp. Mavs on the board first. They make it one to nothing. Later in the period, Minnesota State once again on the power play. They risked it from the point. It's deflected in front. They would extend their lead. Bowling Green drops the first game in this weekend series. They lose 4 0. These two wrap up that series tomorrow night. All right, it is time for our Friday night feature. Rossford senior Cameron Gaston just surpassed 1,000 career points and 400 assists, but he's not the only Gaston on the Northwest Ohio basketball scene. Christy Gopanis has a story. Basketball is in the Gaston family DNA. Cameron Gaston is a key part of the undefeated state-ranked Rossford Bulldogs and little brother Kanye, a freshman role player for Toledo Christian. So why didn't the two team up together at the same high school? I've been going here since fifth grade, so I decided to stay and I thought it would be a better choice. And also I just wanted to, you know, like lead my own path kind of. I kind of like that we're each forging our own path because um, it lets us, it lets people know that we can all do our own thing without having anybody else, uh, help. Forging their own path is important to both of them. It spares them from being compared as they have two very different playing styles. No matter how different they are on the court, they're both very supportive of each other every single day. If I'm like nervous, I'll go to him and I'll ask him to, for help like my first game and he'll just give me advice on like not to be nervous and what I should do. So we text each other a lot about um, how we play, who played, who we played, how we played, it was just stuff like that. We can't really go to each other's games all the time, not even that much because, you know, I practice, we practice every day that we don't have a game and he does the same. You know, we're, just, we're both competitive schools, so we just don't have that much time <laughs> off our hands to go watch each other play. Basketball season is a busy time in the Gaston household. Dad goes to Kanye's games and mom goes to Cameron's. They text and send highlights to each other throughout their games, and no matter how jam-packed the week is, they never miss a moment. There's a lot of kids, so there's six of them little whippersnappers. Yeah, so we got cheer, basketball, um, and all kind of stuff kind of going on. So we just um, divide and conquer. As one Gatston's high school career is coming to a close, another is just beginning. A last name that you will hear for many more years to come. Reporting tonight, Christy Kopanis, WTOL 11. Christy, thanks. Both Gaston brothers playing well and are both playing on some really good teams, hoping to make deep playoff runs this year. All right, time for another break. When we come back, it is back to the highlights. We are on the road to the NWOAL when we return on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday.